Audrey does outdoors. Thanks for tuning in again. All your support's appreciated at home. So today we're we're up. I'm just I'm just looking around, absorbing the view. It's raining. It's been raining for days. It's been raining all day today. It's going to be a wet night. We've got we've got the decent ten. We've got tent. We've got the scarp. Loads of layers, a little bit of food. Stove, probably no fire, I doubt it's too much effort in the rain. So we've got a choice, we can either try and find somewhere with a little bit of tree cover, or we can cut across this river onto the sea and we get out behind the dune, but it's quite exposed out there, so I don't know. We're going to look about, this is one of my favourite spots in Fife. Um, I've come up here for years and years and years, there's a wee caravan site across there, Shell Bay, and uh, I've ran down this beach, I've had um, all our dogs down this beach, the kids. It's absolutely, it's one of my favourite places on the planet. Um, so I'm absolutely delighted to share this with you guys. Although it's going to be a horribly wet, drizzly, drich night, but she's been loving it already. She's been running about, um, living her best. So. I won't blether, I'll, uh, I'm going to try and find a wee spot, I'm not sure where, and uh, we'll get you back in a minute or two. So this walk's part of the Fife Coastal Path. If you check out my one of my other earlier videos, um, I camped about 15 miles that way. Um, so the path goes right along the Fife Coast. And um, this is, I mean, I am the, me and Audrey, we're the only ones on this whole beach. Um, I mean, it's about, it's quarter past three. Um, so yeah, it gets dark really quick. Audrey, she's loving it. She loves the beach. She's getting all nice and I've got a proper towel for her today. So, so I've decided I think we're going to try and get just over the, the dune there. Just had a, a wander right along that way, um, but it was so bumpy behind the dune. I'm going to go all the way back, but it's just because it gets dark so early. It's, it's actually really nice, you know, me and the little one. I mean, if you look at the, the beach, I don't know how much you're picking up, it's starting to get dark. It's just like one of my favourite beaches of all time. We've had the place to ourselves the last kind of hour or so. Um, um, right, quick, quick guided tour. Um, the winds, the wind just disappeared. The seas over the dunes 
we're a decent bit away. The wind just dropped. Um, no one seems to be around. She's doing okay. I've got a towel. I'm going to towel her down, get her bed sorted. Someone I was thinking of there's everything's in black bin bags. Um, dry bags, even better, but these are lighter, keeps everything dry. So everything's individually sort of wrapped. They're just like sort of, um, you know, off the internet sales sort of poly bags, individually wrapped. It's a bit like the kind of the canvas bags that you get. You can. So I've got my sleeping bag in a black bin bag. I've got my cook set. Everything's kind of sort of individually. Um, so we've got the scarp four season tent. Um, which is nice and reassuring, so whatever the elements kind of throw at you, you're kind of... I normally bring the the extra pole set. Um, I notice this little tie-off here is quite good for... You can put a pole out there, um, but for the purpose of tonight, especially if the wind stays like this, um, it's going to be... A really peaceful night. I don't think we'll get any interruptions down here. Um, so um, I'm probably going to get the frying pan on soon. Just cook here. I'm not going to put my bag in or anything. Um, it's forecast to be kind of sort of showery, so I might end up cooking. I mean, it's a it's a reasonable sized space. So you could cook here, and you've got a bit of protection. The wind and weather is going to come this way if anything from the sea, um, but it's only half four and you can see it's absolutely pitch dark already so I think I might take a wee nip down to the sea with the dog um, kill half an hour, come back, have some tea, get my, my mat, my bag get her properly dried off, um, she was chasing a pheasant a minute ago so she's in her element um, I'm not going to dry her off yeah, because we'll, we're going to go for a little run about, I think, first. But she's actually dry underneath her little jacket. We yeah. are. It's a bit drizzly. Um, we're quite set up. We've got most of the things in the sleeping bag uh, out the rucksack. Um, I think we can, I'm not going to bother pulling in the, get some sausages on for a minute, I'm not going to pull the cooker in until it's, it's going to be really wet and it's, it's kind of, I'm not sure if you're picking up much of that rain, um, but it's okay, it's manageable. So I just need to keep sort of pulling the camera in and out. Um, so we're having sausage, a bit of black pudding, bacon, a couple of rolls, a few bit of pudding, coffee. Um, she's dried down and in her bed. I'm going to probably get a wee blanket over her. She's okay, she's dry. And that bit of heat's coming out the, the gas cooker as well going into there, which is nice. It's, it's not too wet to be cooking outdoors. With the with the awning, I could move my bag into here and cook in there, but I'm just going to keep the smell out. And An old boss of mine used to call that that sort of food bullets to the heart. Um, what was his name again? Vincent. Vincent. Vincent, if you're watching Dave Does Outdoors, hope you're doing well, my man. I can't, re can't recommend a little MSR pocket rocket. Really small, really light. That's on its lowest setting so it doesn't burn the, the frying pan a bits. Really versatile little cooker. Looking good. I'm gonna get a roll mate.
to the story behind the black pudding and bacon. Um, when I first got into working in the world of recovery um, and substance kind of use stuff in Edinburgh, there was this little, like a corner shop, a paper shop. And you had this kind of grill in the back, a, a frying, like a hot plate. And then every day, for about five months, I got a double-decker bacon black pudding in a row every day. I don't think it was good for my, my waistline, but it did the absolute damage. Black pepper. Seven up again. Mm. Thanks again for tuning in. I've got a different coffee thing tonight. April found this little baggy thing. I'm going to put coffee in. I'll let it sort of soak. Just trying different things. I've got a couple of little puddings as well. It's beautiful down there. <coughs> I'll probably go for a walk after this. And then <coughs> get ready for bed. Up an early night. I was out on my bike today. Managed to <coughs> cycle up to Falkland, which is great. I don't know how many miles. Twi what is it? Twelve each way. Twenty, say twenty-five miles. Like that. Nice. It was a bit of a rainy, a bit wet, but um, yeah, I try to kind of put a couple of bits on Instagram. So check out my Instagram page as well. Get the most out of that. Little bag of lavaza, I think the rain, the mist is not oh, still drizzling. So yeah, it's been a, another interesting week. Yeah, it was it was nice reminiscing about me getting into the world of recovery and having spent sort of thirty odd years supporting people and families, and it's been it's been an absolute pleasure. I think any of us can end up developing problems with substances that are everywhere. So. I think we need to be challenging some of the stigmas that are still around and encouraging people to get support and speak to people and because there's loads of good support about either online, face to face, groups, fellowship, there's loads and uh, yeah it's been a real, real privilege over the years. Yeah it's been a hard, really hard week for me. I visited my dad for the first time in months and managed to get into the nursing home and so so hard, it's unreal. And we're not allowed to see him over Christmas and we just need to keep strong. Keep strong and hope that he gets vaccinated and all the kind of vulnerable people get vaccinated and it works and things start to ease up next year so yeah I'm thinking about everyone who's in similar positions maybe not seeing loved ones this Christmas you know and 
there'll be a lot of families that are kind of not having normal Christmases this year but let's hope that most of us will will get some sort of normality as well so I'm seeing I think all the kids are going to get around towers on Christmas Day which is great what's this oh it's a decent bit oh nice you coming come on Sausage she doesn't get off. She doesn't really ever get sausage. We're kind of now that she's four. We're kind of. She never used to eat any of our food until I don't know. Maybe COVID. We're kind of. We've all gone a bit crazy. Right, guys. That's us tucked up. It's about nine. It's um still. We did a really nice walk. We walked right along the beach there. Um. I don't know, I've walked a few miles today, which has been really nice, so I'm quite tired. She's um, her usual um, zonked, and I've got more layers to put around her, but it's actually surprisingly warm tonight and really still. I think the wind might pick up, it might rain, I don't know, but we're quite sheltered here, so. Um, <laughs> Apologies for my nasal when I'm when I was watching back a couple of my, my vids. I'm quite I've actually had my nose broken about three times. Um working in different units, um trying to support people um that were quite quite unwell, quite psychotic and um believe it or not I've actually had my nose broken a few times so I think when I'm I can do a bit of kind of nose breathing and it's quite so apologies for for the annoying um breathing sounds when I'm making my vids but <laughs> it's it's one of those ones. Just slowly start to get organised so really nice night last night, really enjoyed it. It was top, top night. With the wee one she's um as normal. She's cosy in there, aren't you? Are you cosy in there? Mm. Oh, you're just a little biscuit. I'm going to keep that little sort of cotton top clean for sleeping in. They're my army puffy trousers, and that's my rab. And then I didn't even use it at all. You didn't need it all, did you? Oh, man. You had fun last night, didn't you? Mm hmm? Chasing pheasants and running about the beach. Best life material. If you're catching that sunrise, that's what it's all about, right there. Oh, yeah, coffee. She's just had her. I'll pour her some water. And I'm having a just a simple drinky. Mm. 
loads of energy, it's enough to get you home, easy, it's light and easy. And you're never sure of the weather when you, when you go out camping, and but it's always worth the punt, it was raining most of yesterday, a bit wet during the night, but nothing, nothing major. Um, but when you wake up and you've got beautiful pink sky, So, that's about half eight. Time just flies, but it doesn't take too long to to pack up. So we're gonna have a wander. I'm not gonna sign off yet, but you can see absolutely no trace. Quite a nice little flat spot last night. Everything's packed up. It looks a bit cumbersome, the, the sack, that's her bed, and you know, so some of it's lightweight. North Sea mid-December? I think so. I, a quick, uh, I, I'm going to try and swim with my hat on. I've never swam my woolly hat on, so I'm going to give that a bash. I've seen that with a lot of the, there's mental health swimmers and stuff on Insta, so have a quick dip, the tide's coming. I don't want to abandon her because she'll be getting stressed, so. Right, that's me, just a quick one, because the tide's, the tide's ramping in. And it's about just about freezing mid December. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's it there, there. Oh man, that is lovely. Recommend that North Sea mid December. The tide's ramping, I'll need to get my, my stuff before it's uh, you can see how quick the tide comes in. She was going a little bit bananas. Oh. Oh, magic! Wild swimming in the North Sea. A Any time I'm near the sea, that's it, done. Or a river if I can. But I think the rivers are even colder with the snow, so... Right. Nice one. <laughs> well chuffed, well chuffed. Oh, I'm just sort of... I'm warming up a little bit out of the sea. Oh, nice. Well, that was amazing. I had to I had to grab all my stuff because the tide was flying in. So uh, we're going to go through those gap along a little beach and then wind round to the car. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, I love that. Love wild swimming. It's just the business. Right. I think we're signing out soon. I've got to go along this beach 
I'm going to do up over that hill behind me there and round the coast there's all sorts of Second World War battlements and there's a chain walk it's like a, I think it's a Via Ferrata um, I'm going to do that one morning I can't take her kind of you had a good time you enjoyed yourself so this is Shell Bay I've spent many a year here with the kids and the family absolutely lovely so I'm going to get along here get to the car thanks again for joining me give me a thumbs up and a subscription press the bell for notifications take care now see you soon Whoa.